Jared Lindsay here in partly sunny Orlando, Florida, and it is summertime at Universal Studios. So we're gonna head into the resort today and just kind of check it out, see what's new for summer. I know they got a couple of special food offerings and some new like uh, food tents, stuff like that. And then of course, Jurassic World Velocicoaster opens up tomorrow. June 10th, so we'll take a look at that and maybe the tribute store because they got that. Ooh, yeah. We're gonna head into the Universal Studios side of the resort first and check it out. They got a Hollywood Horror Night placeholder sign up. Like always, when I visit the park for the first time each month, the first thing I'm gonna do is go and get my pass holder pin for the month. So we got the pin. It's a little bit confusing. It's, a, it's all red. Uh, the little saying on the back though says, okay, hot shots. Time to see what you're made of. Oh, and this red one, you don't even think about pushing it. So we're speculating maybe it's men in black? Don't push the red button. It's a red button, that's all I can tell you. Yeah, or it's, I don't know. <laughs> now that we have our big red button, we're gonna start walking throughout the rest of the park. First thing I noticed though, it is pretty crowded for a Wednesday, so it looks like uh, summer crowds are here, honey, huh? It's pretty packed for a weekday, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> a little bit spicy, too. <laughs> pretty hot. It is not often that I'm caught off guard by something that's going on at Universal Studios, but it looks like that perhaps they're doing some sort of a Olympic event for the Summer Olympics starting July 23rd. It's nothing I had heard of, but I'm back here, or rather over here by Rip Rocket in the stage, and they've got a bunch of food booths set up. None of them are open. And they've got it all decorated up. Talking about the Olympics. 2020 Olympics, which obviously has been, was postponed. Hmm, I'm gonna have to do some research on this. Some of the food on this menu looks really, really good. I don't know when these booths are gonna open. I don't know if they're gonna wait till July 23rd or if they're open like on the weekend or something. Now this is kind of strange. I did not know that they were going to be doing anything for the Olympics. Here we go. Here's one of those summer food festival stands I was talking about earlier. Right over here in front of Fast and the Furious. Let's see what this one's got. This truck is selling the pressed Cuban sandwich and the beef empanadas. And if it's the exact same sandwich as the one that uh, they had at Mardi Gras, it's pretty good. The stand I'm looking for is the one that's selling the arepas. Found another food stand. We'll go check out what this one's serving here in a second. But the interesting thing that I'm noticing is there's zero lines at the food stands and yet every single restaurant back here, look at this, Richter Burger. Lines just coming out the door, man. Hey, let's see here. Melts. Three cheese classic, smoky brisket, vegan, and mac and cheese. That all sounds really, really good, but again, it's not the Arepa. It is busy, busy, busy here. It was like a hundred minute wait for Escape from Gringotts, but luckily they brought back Single Rider, so I was able to go ride it. But it still took me 40 minutes. 40 minutes just doing Single Rider. And then we were gonna do some ice cream here, but the line looks like it's like 40 minutes. 40 minutes is obviously an exaggeration, but it's not much of an exaggeration. Look at that. All the way around the building. I have seen it worse, but that doesn't mean that I want to wait in it. I'm telling you, every food line except for them food trucks is packed today. Maybe we'll come back in a day or two and do like an all day eating like we used to, like those videos, except it's just ice cream. Because I noticed the Hagen dazs store is open and it was still being converted over from the Ben and Jerry's the last time I was here. So we could do ice cream all day. All day? Yeah, breakfast, snack, Thank lunch, dinner. Uh, yeah, and then I'll be sick like for three days. But for you, I'll get sick. I found another one. This has to be the Arepa booth, doesn't it? Well, Lindsay, I'm really, really striking out. I cannot find the food booth that I'm looking for. This is not it. This one has some interesting looking stuff. I don't know how to say it. I'm probably butchering it, but oh, it tripletta and yuca fritta. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. That's what I was going to say next. It's just how delicious it does smell but it's not what I'm looking for. So we're moving on. Well, we can't do a trip to Universal Studios without at least attempting to ride the ET. <laughs> 20 minute wait though, I think we're gonna be very successful in this attempt. What do you think? I think it's gonna be fine. Unless it breaks, 
Yeah, plus it'll give us a chance to get out of this uh, unforgiving sun for a few minutes. Oh man, the queue really filled up quick. Look at that. The whole thing's full now. It's going to be more than a 20 minute wait for them. I'm starting to suspect it's going to be more than a 20 minute wait for us as well because we've been standing here not moving for quite a while. A success and then quite a failure too all wrapped up in one. We found it. It's right here in Battery Park. Arepas. However, they're uh, closed. <laughs> Nobody's, Nobody's cooking Arepas? <laughs> nope. Nobody's cooking Arepas. So either we missed it for the day or they just aren't running every day. But considering that all the other food places were making food, I think maybe we just missed it. But I mean, there's still a couple hours before the park closes. What do you think? You think it was just bad luck? I. I don't know. I don't. It, it, doesn't, something that smells like it does smell really good right here, so right. maybe it's Mel's. I don't know. I don't know that Mel smells that good. Well, since we failed at Arepa, I get a consolation prize of crepes. Brisket crepe. <laughs> That's alright. That's a good consolation prize. Your napkin just flew across onto the ground. Yes, and you failed at catching it. I tried really hard. <laughs> I don't want it now. <laughs> Okay, yeah. These crepes they have at Central Park crepe, they are so good, man. Look at that. The thing is delicious. Not as delicious as an arepa, but still delicious. Still got a little bit of time left. I think I'm gonna head over to Islands of Adventure and get a look at the Jurassic Coaster that opens up tomorrow. And when I say head over to Islands of Adventure and check out the Velasa Coaster, what I really meant was. Heading to the Jurassic World Tribute Store for a look around. Yeah, that's pretty cool. This is like the in-gen, not the lab, but some kind of control room. What are you up to over here, Lindsay? Where are you going? I'm trying to not get bit. Bye. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Little rogue uh, dinosaur. Yeah. I really like this room right here. Looks like we're inside the raptor enclosure. Let's go over here and take a look at these dudes. I'm always really impressed with how they do the lighting. Dang, look at that. Uh oh. Busting out of the storage crate. They're after you, Lindsay. Oh no, look at that. Uh, oh. Uh. <laughs> I think he's thirsty. Is he thirsty? You can never guess what I I am going to guess because I see your hand on it. <laughs> I might have to have that. Mm. Oh, look at that. That's cute. Is that Loungefly brand? I don't know. Um, it's Pop. Oh, really? Oh, you know what? Yeah, I should have guessed that because look at John Ammon looks just like a Funko Pop. Look at their wallet. Oh, look at that. Actually, I think it's the same wallet with two different sides. Two for one? I love it. That's really cute. How much is it? How much is the wallet? Uh, 55. Good God. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how about this room? The wrecked lab, huh? Is this Isla... What is it? Sorna? Nublar? Is that the name of the two islands from Jurassic Park 1 and 2? Sounds close. Yeah, <laughs> close enough for a goof. But yeah, I don't know. Is this supposed to be the island from 1 or 2? Or the lab, rather. If I knew the movies a little bit better, it'd probably be really easy to tell. They did a really good job. <laughs> It's really cool, man. Love the tribute stores, don't you? Yeah. I do. Yeah, I don't see them stopping either. I think they're going to be doing tribute stores for everything now. I think they like it as much as we do. Oh, absolutely. Well, it's it's incredible. I love them. Yeah. Oh my! Look at this. It's a Triceratops. At least I think that's what it is. I mean, it's a Triceratops. I don't know if there's. Like some odd variant where it's like, no, it's not a triceratops, you goon, it's a triglyceratop. They even have these little things, like you could put the quarter in and get a handful of food. But fortunately, they siliconed over it. Because you know if they hadn't, man, people would have been going nuts throwing this crap all over at that triceratop. 
Leave it to you to find sweets. <laughs> How about that? You gonna get yourself a dig in a jar? Uh, maybe. Yeah, actually, I think the cupcake looks a little bit better. I don't know, I was eyeballing the fudge. Yeah, maybe. It's just fudge, though. Fudge is fudge. It's lava flow fudge. And camel. Well, what'd you think of the trinket store, Lindsay? thought it was amazing, as usual. I was quite impressed. Yeah, they do a really good job. I can't wait to see what the next... Well, it'll probably be a Horror Night tribute store, right? They probably aren't going to change this. Yeah, yeah, I think so. But yeah, it's pretty amazing scenes. The park is kind of... ...down out a little bit. I think this crash guy wants to go by, but he's waiting for us to stop filming. <laughs> <laughs> the temperature really dropped out here, didn't it? Or he that, or it's just because we're in the shade. Yeah, I think it's that, and there's a nice wind out here. Yeah, right here it's really breezy. I'd like to do like maybe one more ride before the park closes. Maybe rip rocket. Although that crepe's settling kind of hard without so like handle it. I, I think you're gonna be on your own for that one. That one out. I sure am. Well, I'll check a wait time if it's too long. Uh, okay. Right on there. Rip rocket. <laughs> Well, it is a 50 minute wait, which for me is a little bit too long, considering I've ridden this a gazillion times. And uh, I'm extremely full, so I don't, I'm definitely not gonna miss having that belly crushing lap bar smash that crepe in my innards. <laughs> Well, that's going to do it for us today here at Universal Studios in Orlando. I had a great day. Completely failed to get into Repa. It was like the number one thing that I wanted to do and didn't do it. Embarrassing. Yeah. I'm, now it's going to be like a mission here in the next couple of days. Make sure I get that Repa. <laughs> and the other thing is, is it's like I can't believe it was the last place that I looked. Like I did the full loop. Yeah, that just <laughs> worked out terribly. Yeah, but... Anyway, we will be back tomorrow because tomorrow is opening day for Velocicoaster. So we're going to be doing like a whole Jurassic Park video. We're going to be doing all Jurassic Park stuff all day. Excited? Right. Yes. Yes, I am. All right. Thanks for watching.